as people try to change up their diet and eat healthier. Some are choosing to go vegan or gluten free. Well, Tilth Restaurant is now switching up their menu to help you find some delicious meal options. And joining me today is Chef Maria Hines from Tilth. Maria, thank you so much for stopping thank by again. Thank you so much for having me. We love having you here. Um, why did you decide to go the vegan and gluten free option? You know, uh, there, there are so many different diets and there's so many uh, different needs for people in their dining experience. We've always, uh, you know, people who've come into Tilth or Agridolce or Golden Beetle, we've mm -hmm. always been very accommodating if someone is vegan or if they're gluten free or if they're dairy free and they've been very appreciative of it. So now all we're doing is we're taking the next step and we're actually creating a menu just for them. So when they come in, instead of doing the 10 minutes with the server saying, well, we can substitute this and yes. we can do that. Instead of having to go through that, now they get their own menu. So if they're gluten-free, they can look at it and, and choose whatever it is that they want instead of having to, you know, go through that, which can sometimes be embarrassing mm -hmm. or sometimes just take up a little bit more time than, you know, what's normal for someone to have their their dining experience. So it's another way to make them feel special. What can people find in this special menu? Well, we have a couple of dishes right here Ooh, for okay. our uh, vegan menu as well as gluten-free. Can grab the spoon? Yes, <laughs> yes, that's what you're gonna need that. You're gonna need that. We have a, uh, a truffle scented smoked heirloom bean cassoulet with oven dried tomatoes oh and uh, some herbs and shallots. And then right here we have a savory apple soup, which I actually did when I was on Top Chef Masters. It was one of the dishes that An I uh, use for a com competition. Yeah, so it's savory though, so it's okay. wonderful to have a savory application. It. Okay, look mm -hmm. how thick that is. With some dill pollen and then some, some compressed apples. Is that what's in the middle here? The di uh, Yes, yes, compressed apples. And this right here is vegan as well as gluten-free. And then right here, this is a, a gluten-free option we have, which is uh, seared St. Jude's albacore tuna with kabocha squash and charred leek with cilantro and scallion for garnish. I need something so. different than a spoon for that to tackle that one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, you mentioned that it's important to make customers diners feel like they're completely accepted and, and they can Absolutely. sit and look at the menu and really choose something that works for them as opposed yes. to making those exceptions because yes. it can kind of change the dining experience if yes. you've never dealt with that before. Yes, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And I've, uh, I've, I've had three people very near and dear to me over the past year find out that they're celiac and in dining with them and seeing what their experience is like through their lens, I decided, okay, we're, we're just gonna go the extra mile. You know, honestly, That's I didn't think Steve would show up because we have no bacon here today, <laughs> but. He's always here with us. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm here. good. Hey. Um, oh, no, we need another, unless you want to use my spoon, I dirtied it up already. Another now. utensil. Oh, oh, yes. oh, no, that's a big challenge. Okay, Marie, well, you... I'm going to get you one okay. in a minute, and you're going to be able to try all these dishes. I would love to. Yeah. Thank you very much. You have had a wonderful, amazing year. You've been, what, awarded Best Chef Northwest, wow. and then Outstanding Chef Awards, and you're nominated for another award. Is that it's, right? Yes, uh, another one for the James Beard Foundation, semi-finalist for uh, Outstanding Chef for the nation. So this is a really, really big one. I'm really excited. We find out about the nominations, uh, I think March 18th through the, the James Beard Foundation. And then, you know, the awards. Oh, look at that, a, look at that. A fork up here just for you. Uh, Maria, congratulations. Thank so you so well much. deserved. You've yeah. had a heck of a last couple of years. You want to dig it and try well, that? Well, I'm going to try something here. What do we got here? This right here, it's a smoked heirloom bean cassoulet. You're Dig not in. gonna believe, it tastes like there's bacon oh, in there, but it's vegan. Good. Maria, oh, thank oh, you oh. so much for stopping by. Come us. back anytime. Oh, yes. For thank more so information much. about Tilth and all of our other restaurants, go to our website, <laughs> comonews.com, and click on Como for oh, TV. Yeah, so we, yeah. we braise the beans, <laughs> and then uh, we smoke what kind them. Of bean is that? Coming up next, <laughs> is there a little princess on the way for Prince William and Kate? What the Duchess said that sparked the baby girl rumors. Plus, the TSA says it will allow passengers to carry knives onto planes. Why flight attendants say the decision could put everyone in danger. Next.